So I just want to give you guys a glimpse or a demo of what we are building now uh, at Data Button and what our next product is about. Uh, and I'm so, so thrilled to try out this prototype, which we will uh, ship it within next uh, week or two. Just bear with me for the next 15 minutes maximum that how we can build an AI app conversationally. We won't be coding at all. We will rather guide an AI to build an AI app for us. That sounds amazing. That is happening and we could do it now. I will show you that. But trust me, this whole process was pretty difficult to build uh, to combine Python and React as a front end, Python as a back end is not an easy task and to allow people from that app which the AI builds to extend it it's really very challenging but I think we have reached to a point that we can do that and I will give you a short demo uh, it's more about to showcase to the community that this is happening and this is possible and to receive the feedback so that we could give early access to people and learn more and more receive more and more feedback from you all so I'll just start with building the app. So let's say we build a social media post generator app. It's not difficult. Let's see if it can do that or not and how it does it. That's also very important. Media post generator app. I just hit the next button. And now uh, data button tries to understand the AI. The agents tries to understand what we are trying to build. It will ask us question. We'll always have a conversation with the AI. That's the whole plan. Do you have specific types of social media posts in mind, such as promotional content, inspirational quotes, or even announcements? Will the app use AI to generate? Uh, do you want to integrate? Okay, so yeah, it's a bit chatty, but we can just directly go on the point. It understands. So I would like to generate a social media post for uh, different social media platform using OpenAI L. That's it. <laughs> okay, I just write very strictly. Okay, so that it doesn't speak so much, but still I know it will do it. That's something which you are tweaking and trying to change. Let's see. So input. Uh, so the function can be a single one. <laughs> Uh, which uh, will since I already know how the app should be uh, it's very really much easier okay to explain to the prompt so in today's world it's important how you prompt and we tried that with chat GPT right and that's the same thing out here the better you prompt the better it is but out here with this agents it's trying to help you out if someone who has zero idea it's giving you more more understanding of what you want to build content type and platform type append to the prompt so i just give content type and send to the ai open ai to generate simple okay so i just directly go like a one shot prompt kind of i give it okay now let's move on to the next step where we will think okay that we can let's create your app social scribe this uh, it just gave a name social scribe okay it, it does it everything happens under the hood create a social media oh so it has already created a capability for us so what is capability we'll see now in next uh, 30 seconds okay what are capabilities which at this moment uh, our data button can provide so this is data button which is kind of uh, uh, converse, having a conversation with me. It created a capability we saw, and this is the capability here. So if I now go to capability, this is something, one capability, as I explicitly mentioned, create this. Then it created uh, generates social media post, pretty cool. And now we will we will try to you know speak with it and uh, try to understand. Uh, there are a lot of bugs here and there. It's very early stage, uh, but let's see how much we can go with this. Please uh, create a function uh, which will accept uh, content uh, type and type and platform type and send to open it. Technically, we don't even need to rewrite this so many times. Right now, I don't know somewhere there's a glitch in our uh, platform which is not working well, but this is this should work if i go out of it it, it forgets uh, from the brain so it's okay but it everything will be much more smoother we don't need to speak so much at all 
Sure, we create a function that takes a content. Blah, blah, blah. Could you please provide me the example of the content type? Uh, content uh, the type example can be large language uh, models uh, platform B Twitter. So why it's asking? Because it does all the execution itself. You'll see that it executes itself. It creates. It's very smart out here. It does everything. It's not like it just generates an output. It executes and see for us. Okay. That's what we want to go there. Okay. Yes. Let's uh, do that. So now here we comes the main part. It is actually executing a function for us. Okay. It's not so straightforward. That what takes time to build. Shall we proceed with the constructing problem? If you agree, yes. So it will fail also. If it fails, it will tell you, okay, it's failing. Th that's where the power lies. If it fails, it tells you. If it cannot, it will again ask you. It will maintain the conversation. Uh, yes. So these things we can automate more and more and more in future release. We'll uh, make it much more compact, much more automated. Uh, but that's the whole power out. If you can see, it's constantly created. It shows us error. It asks us, this is where it's going error. So it came across an error. What's the error? Uh, yes, uh, I can provide you. So it will store the secret. So it shows it got the error that the open API uh, client error is getting. So it will uh, ask me if I can provide an open API key. So I'll just do that now. Here it goes. I added my open AI API key. It stores for us back in the data button storage. Yes, so it's now again trying. You see, it's something which I'm not coding at all. It's just asking me question. I'm answering. It's going step by step and we'll reach to a point where it will create the whole backend function is for us. It will test it itself, will create the first API endpoint as well. And this endpoint will be called by our React frontend and will create a full fledged app. I will show you how it works. Just look at it. It could actually execute and tell us it's working. And now it's asking us, this is the main point. Would you like to proceed with integrating this functionality into backend as a first API endpoint? Yes. Please uh, create the first API endpoint. So now it will create the fast step endpoint. So we are creating a whole Python function and then we create a whole fast step endpoint. Everything, as you saw, it's by the AI. Okay, I am not writing a single line of code out here. So it's creating here. We see that also uh, in future, you can actually edit the code. I mean, we can edit the code now as well. But this uh, Jupyter Notebook style, these things are super powerful to self execute it. I will show you look, right now. If I toggle editor, we don't have any line of code. Okay, it will soon have that as well. When it could uh, generate, uh, it will show us. So I ask it. So what's up? Let's see if it could do it for us. The first API point has been generated successfully and saved. If I now go back, you see the whole first API endpoint has been created. I just copy it now just for the sake that uh, we might need it in the front end at times to remind the front end uh, because there are a few glitches now in the interaction. Uh, it works most of the times at time it doesn't work I, and I don't want to consume so much of time in this uh, video creation. So I want to just explicitly, explicitly say that this is your endpoint. Thank you. Uh, no need. Okay, so it, it could even test the endpoint as well, but I don't need that. Okay, I'm pretty sure I feel that it's pretty good enough. So I copy this part. Now the next part. So this is we are done with capabilities. We can create multiple capabilities. Okay, we can uh, uh, chuck down our functionalities into number of functionalities and that's the brain of our full app. So next part is uh, going to the and creating going to the UI and creating uh, the UI part for us. This is everything will be in React. So I just go back and I say, uh, you need to create a, a simple UI, which has a text input box for content type and a drop down box uh, for different social media platforms such as LinkedIn, uh, Twitter and Facebook and a button to generate the AI response. 
I will introduce. So this extra part I am writing now just to make sure that everything works smoothly. Uh, we don't face any bug while the creation is going on. So that's why I'm just writing this extra part. It's, it won't be required. Okay, It might not be even required now, but I just don't take the chance. You would do your brain, your first API endpoint. So I just gave the whole code, okay? So that it knows that it has its brain just so that it doesn't forget. That's the whole part. This won't be necessary in future. Or maybe right now as well. Uh, yes. So it's now will create the UI for us. Let's see, it will update the UI. Let's see if the UI is working. And if the UI works, if it could connect to our fast pain point or not. So there are number of factors, okay? Everything is coming together just by conversation. So here is our UI, which is already created. Uh, let's see the code, okay? These are the few lines of code, which is already it has created for us. That's super cool, right? I don't know if it, uh, everything will work or not. It has imported the brain. Cool, so would you like to add in a specific style uh, or shall we proceed with the connection to the UI to the brain character? I think it has not created the functionality yet. Yes, uh, please uh, make sure that you connect the UI to the brain capabilities. So I think it has already knew it's going step by step. Okay, first it creates a UI for us as we see and now it's connecting to that. And adding and loading indicators or error handling. Yes, do it. So it just does all the stuff. It even handles the error, implement the API call, everything for us. Okay. Uh, let's hope, let's hope that the UI, uh, the, the UI builder can actually do that for us. <laughs> everything will be done. I think it was pretty smooth and that's what we expect. It's almost now 13 minutes. I hope it's 12 minutes now. I hope by end of one minute, we have our whole app ready and to ship also. Uh, now this function is not yet in, uh, incorporated, but I think this week in two days, it will be incorporated and we are ready to ship our apps like that. So it asks me, to, do I want to uh, test it or not? I will ask it later, but let's see. So it has a brain function and it actually uh, connects to it. Let's, let's test it quickly, okay? So I'll just test it here. I say AGI and I select the platform, uh, Twitter, and I hit the generate post. Here's a console, which will show. Ah, you can see already. The post is also getting created. This is super, right? Okay, so everything is done. You can see the whole app here. Whole app is here. I just want to make the changes. UI, this takes time always. You can write your own React code if you really want to do it. If you know how to code in React, super. If you want to change your, uh, uh, change your whole Python code out here, you can do that as well. Everything is there for you. And if you don't know, like for me, I don't know that much how to code in React. I will just ask it. I'll go to the last thread which we created. Uh, I'll just ask it. Uh, can you put all the uh, text input box, uh, the drop down, and the uh, what is it called? And the button within a card. Add a let's say indigo light color gradient add shadow to the card yeah that's all uh, add a tweeted share button for the generated uh, the response from the yeah. okay so I asked for it I don't care if it creates or not but I think we already have uh, I already could show you a glimpse of what the data button future will be. Uh, we could create a full-fledged app out here and we are actually using the power of fast API endpoints, which, you know, it's pretty powerful. You create endpoint, you create API, you call with React, which is the best way I would say to make an app, a customizable app where you can have a lot of things. You can just create crazy stuff like this like this nice css styling html style you can do that uh you can actually have the storage data button storage is right there for you to to store your if you have user authentication or something you can do it there uh you have a secret maintenance part also which you always had back in data button so data button future looks like this we support other stuff but this is something where ai assisted 
whole app building is possible i will just for the last time i just test the app here okay uh i will just test it this way so agi we go twitter we hit generate response uh, the console can give us if there is any bug but it does it for us i don't know if the share twitter function is implemented or not i can click it oh yeah that's implemented as well and you see the whole stuff is right here right now for us you go here you come here same stuff everything done by the whole brain the ui builder everything is by the ai so our ai assisted app we built just now using the whole react code the whole uh, python code here it is that easy to build uh, if you really know what you are going to build so that's all for today and uh, i hope you guys will have uh, feedback for this we really care about the feedback i personally really care about the feedbacks tell us how you would like to build and if you want to get the early access just write down in the comment section i'm really happy to give you the early access and let's see what you guys would really want more what are the bugs you should report the bugs i uh, it's a prototype okay we are not making a toy app anymore i know that people are making in different ways toy apps using ai but this is a real full-fledged app which you can build as you saw you have the whole react code here which you can really tweak and extend this way further i just showed a demo but in future we can real uh, really build a full-fledged way from here so that's all for today cheers